Hello guys, so apologize for the lack of posting. Uh, I've been busy with the end of summer and then school started again. So yeah, I probably won't be posting too regu regularly, but I'll try to post when I can in my free time. But yeah, so today I just thought I'd go over a grouping I have. Anyway, let's get right into it. So, start off got four captain ACU patches and one second lieutenant one interesting uh, interesting to note I believe this one is Afghan made not really sure this is the standard US made and then this one you, you can see this one's a little shorter the captain bar and a little fatter and it's also got a black back which I have a first sergeant patch with a black back but I just thought they were some sort of variant. I didn't know that they were... Uh, yeah, I don't know if they're theater made or not. Anyway, moving on, got the presidential unit citation. And the Korean medal or ribbon. Um, I've seen this one before. It's given out to troops that served, uh, yeah, stationed there. Uh, you have to meet certain criteria. Yeah, I got a pair of these. They're really nice. Um, bullion, clutchback, uh, major pins. Yeah, I actually didn't know that this still made bullion insignia. But yeah, this is a uh, like felt or like soft ma the fabric backing yeah, and then the bullion. Really good shape. And they're pretty nice. Yeah, and I uh, I've seen world of course World War Two era bullion patches and insignia but this is the first like modern set I've seen and uh, I actually looked online and they're retailing for thirty dollars and we moving on another expensive item shoulder boards <laughs> if you've ever looked at the price of these new they're like 45 50 bucks depending on where you go made in USA Vanguard but yeah, that's what the vet told me too. He was like, <laughs> these themselves are worth like 45 bucks. or <laughs> That's how much he paid. I got a new double ribbon bar or can fit four mini medals apparently. Vanguard. I'm assuming he would have wanted to put these two on this one. Because I don't see why he would just buy a double one. Um, obviously probably have more ribbons than that if he was a higher rank officer but yeah got six uh, so three pairs of these shoulder boards go on the white dress uniform on the epaulets or anything like that I've seen these fairly common mostly enlisted ones though and patches he must have been stationed in Korea because this is an authentic Korean Army black patch. It's interesting because a lot of the you know U.S. made ones or just the Chinese made patches they have this little like tail of, th of the threads, but this one doesn't. It's very similar to like theater made patches. Yeah, it's also a weird material. It's a little softer, similar to the ISAF patch. But yeah, this is just your standard ACU ISAF patch. With the Arabic bottom. This one, there's multiple variants, you probably know. Um, some with the black border. This one has the ACU colored. Yeah, this one's nice. I believe he actually wore this in Afghanistan because it's, you see all the wrinkles and stuff. This is not a new patch. Yeah, so this is probably seen some action. Now, moving on to the medals. This is, starting off with this one Army Commendation Medal, I believe. Uh, this is fairly common. I actually have a loose one. But yeah, it's complete. Ribbon bar, lapel pin, and the metal. Still in the case. Uh, it's United States of America. And the bronze star. This one is missing the ribbon bar. But yeah, it's really nice. This is actually my first metal grouping. Yeah. I asked him how he got this, and he said, oh, just from patrols in Afghanistan. <laughs> so 
So yeah, it's really neat. Um, this one's cool. It's the Meritus, or yeah, Meritus Service Metal. Um, it's got a 2012 contract that's manufactured in September 2014. And yeah, I've never seen this one before. I really like the design of the eagle and the star and the wreath. And I love the color. It's like a maroon. Yeah, it's really nice. The lapel pin's pretty, pretty nice too. It's nice and enamel or whatever. But yeah, so this vet was an officer. Um, served in Afghanistan, at least, and he's currently serving. He's active duty, so that's pretty neat. Got some cool patches. This one is not a military one. Uh, I don't think so, at least. So I could just put this on a hat or something, backpack. It's a nice, uh, nice patch. It's actually facing the right way. Um, official U.S. Army patches, of course, are reversed because they wear them on the right sleeve and it looks like they're going forward. Because this way it looks kind of like the flag's going, you know, left, and people are like, oh, looks like we're retreating. But yeah, that's why the flag's reversed. Yep, so great metal grouping, great grouping in general. I was honestly surprised that he wanted to get rid of his medals. But, I mean, he was willing to sell them. So he had all this stuff out. So I wanted to keep it together. I got his name, which is good. I'll keep the history. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll try to post uh, content when I can. But yeah, thank you guys for your support.